princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks on how you can fade a tan. So it is the middle of winter here in New Zealand, but unfortunately during the start of the year I did accidentally tan myself, which is super annoying if you don't want to tan. I do understand that a lot of people do want to tan, so if you do like having a tan then this isn't a video that you want to watch because we're going to be talking about how you can get rid of your tan. There are cultural differences on whether you like tan skin or whether you like pale skin, but it does come down to personal preference as well. If you don't want to get rid of your tan then don't do it and if someone else is trying to make you get rid of your tan then don't listen to them because it's your body and it is your choice. So for myself personally I enjoy being pale, I think that I look better being pale but unfortunately my skin tans really easily. So you can still see a little bit of the tan line here, it is so much better than it was before but this is from one probably about half an hour session in the sun without adequate sun protection. My skin is very warm toned and it actually borders on olive um, and the rest of my family has olive skin so if I tan I do get really really dark skin and you can see by my hands as well which are still so much tanner than the rest of my body they do look quite olive, very warm toned and that just means that I tan very quickly in the sun and I do tan quite dark if I let myself. But the rest of my body naturally is very pale so I am wearing a shirt that you so that you can see the tan lines um, and you can see where the rest of my skin looks. That is like the natural paleness of my skin and that is usually the colour that I am consistently. I enjoy being pale as well because I only have to get one set of foundations and usually my foundations always match because I don't change skin colour so, or I try not to, so that means that in summer I don't have to have a summer colour and in winter I have a winter colour, I just have an all round colour. I also don't want to get sun damage because one time when I was younger I got burnt so badly on the tops of my shoulders that they blistered like big bubbly blisters and it was thoroughly unpleasant and that was probably about the time when I stopped going out in the sun with the idea and the want or the desire to tan. So I'm going to be talking about how I faded my tan. The first thing that you have to understand is that it's not going to happen overnight and it's not even going to happen in a couple of months. It is a process if you want to keep your skin healthy. So this is how you fade it, not get rid of it entirely. That may take you quite some time, up to a year, but here are some tips on how that you can fade it. So the first tip is to stay out of the sun. Obviously if you're wanting to fade your tan lines, you don't want to get more tan unless you purposefully want to tan your entire body so that you actually get rid of the physical line that you can see. So staying out of the sun means don't go into the sun when it is at its peak or its most burny. Wear clothes that are going to cover up your skin, wear sun protection, wear hats, wear sunglasses, pretty much anything that you can do to stop the sun from actually hitting your skin and causing damage. By causing damage, it's not just a sunburn that causes damage, any type of colour change in your skin is sun damage. So getting a base tan does not stop you from damaging your skin because just having your skin change colour to start with is damaging your skin. For me, the hardest thing to avoid with staying out of the sun is my hands. The reason being that I can put sunscreen on in the, in the morning, but as soon as I wash my hands, the sunscreen is gone. So my hands frequently run out of sun protection, which is why they are so much darker than the rest of my body. I actually have watch tan as well. You can kind of see a little bit of it there. Um, but the biggest culprit for me is driving. I do drive quite a lot during the day and I also travel and a lot of times I drive to where I'm traveling to. So one thing that I have started using to stop my hands from getting any more tan is driving gloves. They are just little gloves that you slip on while you're driving. They have little rubber bits on the palms so that you have grip. Um, they don't look the most trendy and you do kind of get a little bit of like staring but I've never had anyone question why I'm wearing driving gloves and if they did, like it's to start with none of your business, but also to protect my hands from getting skin cancer. So now that you've stopped your skin from being damaged and getting more tan, if you had a sunburn, please wait for the sunburn to go away before you start doing the next step because otherwise you will irritate your skin so much. But the second step is either physical or chemical exfoliation or both. So basically the top layer of your skin is the tan layer and the layers underneath, there are multiple, will be your original skin colour. You cannot exfoliate the top layer of your skin off in one go and expect to have pure white skin underneath. It just doesn't work that way. But it will help to shed the excess layers or the tanned layers of skin quicker. 
I personally prefer chemical exfoliation, so I use things like the Neogen peel pads, which have glycolic acid in them. They also have a little bit of physical exfoliant because they are the little mitts, and I find these really, really good for fading tan. I'm also using my Pixi Glow Tonic on my chest and neck area, and then I am using the Cosorex Whitehead Power Liquid on my arms. So I have a tan from here downwards on my arms. I missed my shoulders, but I got the neck as well, which is really annoying. The reason that I'm using two different types of chemical exfoliation is because my neck and chest are much more sensitive than my arms are, and the Cosrx is just too much. It makes it sting, it makes my chest red, and it's just not worth it. So the Pixi is only a 5% glycolic acid, whereas the Cosrx I think is 7, so the difference is there. You can also use physical exfoliation, so the Neogen peel pads have some physical exfoliation, but you can also use things like Italy towels, or like body scrubbing mitts to help you get rid of some of the excess skin too. I do not find that these are as effective. I find that I have to use a lot of effort to use them, whereas with a chemical exfoliant, I can literally just wipe it down my arms. So chemical exfoliate definitely wins for me. You do want to choose AHAs rather than BHAs because the AHA works on the top layer of the skin whereas your BHA works on the bottom layer of the skin. The third step is to use melanin inhibitors. So these are products containing vitamin C, niacinamide and arbutin and actually ginseng as well are my favourite ingredients. This can be a little bit difficult because a lot of the products that use these ingredients in large enough percentages to actually be effective are going to be expensive. So if you don't want to use them over your entire body, I definitely recommend using them on the line. So where it starts from being paler and then goes from being darker, focus it on that area of the skin and that'll help to actually fade the line. So these lines used to be very, very solid. You can see that this one fades quite nicely, whereas the chest ones don't fade as well. That's just because these ones I can't use as many products on them because they are sensitive. So this is fading much slower than my arms are fading. But it's at least a nice little pale to darker gradient right now. <laughs> and that's how I got rid of most of the watch tan as well. So because it can be expensive, you have to be a little bit smarter about what you use and where you use it, especially if you're talking about a whole body tan fade, which could be difficult. The last step is of course the same as the first step. After you've done all of the work to chemically exfoliate, and then using your melanin inhibitors, you really want to stay out of the sun and use sunscreen. Not only because you are going to tan if you go into the sun, especially if you are like me, but also because your AHAs are going to make your skin more sensitive and more prone to burning. So you don't want to go through all of the effort of actually trying to use the chemical exfoliants to fade the tan, only to go back into the sun and make it worse. So do be smart with how you are in the sun as well as using your sunscreen regularly. A really good time to fade your tan is of course during winter because you are going to be covered up for the main part anyway so you're not going to have to worry about a lot of the body parts that you have being exposed to the sun for me usually my face is exposed as well as my neck generally up to here so in winter if I'm if I'm wanting to fade my neck tan I would simply start wearing more scarves or more turtlenecks as well because the clothing is going to protect your skin so those are my tips on how to fade a tan if you guys have any more, please do leave them in the comments so I can see them as well. There are things that I do not recommend for fading a tan, and those things are using products such as lemon and sugar and baking soda and using DIYs to fade your tan. Please do not use lemon on your skin. It is so bad for it. Please don't use abrasive sugars unless you're using them in something like honey that is going to help spread out the sugars and be gentle with them. Please do not use baking soda. It is not the right pH level for your skin. Don't mix baking soda and lemon together because how do you know what pH that's going to be? It's probably not going to be a good one. There are tons of DIY how to fade your tan tutorials on the internet and a lot of them I do not agree with and feel free to disagree with me if you would like to but I personally wouldn't recommend them. But otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and it gave you some helpful hints on how to fade pesky tan lines. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!